Today on Frugal It Out, I am tackling the bathroom. So this is the bathroom that guests use and also my kids. So in, you walk to the bathroom. You can go to the left, which is Bradley's room, it's a mess, or to the right, Broden's room. All right, when you enter here, you have a toilet, some shelves, a very lovely textured, creamy, yellowy, weirdish wall. Um, the floor is tile in this little area. Uh, the bathroom's white. The tile's white, which I'm really excited about because I think I'm going to paint everything white. I don't think. I know. And then in here, you have, I'm super excited again, my counter's white, totally gonna rock that. This I'm gonna try to change into, sand down to a more natural color wood. I'm gonna frame out the mirror and then uh, kind of play with this light fixture, probably spray paint it, add Edison bulbs, I don't know, and just clean it up. And then behind me, I think I'm gonna do an accent wall. I don't know if these shelves are gonna stay, I don't think so, but. That's the plan. Let's do this. <laughs> it's so dark in here too. I need to get like, I probably should start with the lighting right now to make it really bright in here as I work so I can see and so you can see as well. Go team. I did not go to Belmont University. I don't know where this came from. Somebody gave it to me, but I did go to KU. Woo, rock jock. So I took in my paint samples and compared it to the color of the counters and the white tile and that is how I selected Greek Villa. It matched. Also make sure your lighting is set before you decide on a paint color because it makes all the difference in the world. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's under these. I literally just sanded off the grooves, mostly. It took forever. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep doing this. <laughs> it's going to take so long. And here's the final situation of counters. This is beautiful, but impossible. It would take so long. I can't sand out the corners. I like shaved off the detail. Hopefully we'll no nobody will notice. Um, but even, it's so weird. It's like particle board underneath. Whatever. But guess which color I decided to go with. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Here it goes. I'm going to paint all of it. start on my mirror. I'm getting ready to spray paint my hardware here. Thank you Carissa for that idea of putting the screws in styrofoam with my 99 cent flat black paint. Uh, it's kind of raining so I don't know. We'll figure it out. I cut my boards. I'm gonna lightly sand off the edges a little bit. Nail gun them together and then add this nice little decorative. It's actually gonna serve a purpose too. It'll help keep it steadier as well. Yep. This just fell on my toe. Look, there's even a piece of my nail polish, my toenail polish. It's really heavy. That did not feel good. Well, I'm gonna have to pause to put my foot up for a minute. My nurse is checking on me. Cooper, am I gonna make it? Is it broken? <laughs> oh my gosh, this guy. Uh, well, the view's beautiful. You're my part of looking flowers. Hi. They're so bright this year. That's classic purple wave petunia. 
And for the first time ever, I got, you can't really see. Mmm, Cherry Wave. And some dark purples I forget the name of. Okay, I'm gonna play on my phone for a little bit. We went to go visit my sister for a few days, and while I was gone, I got some packages. So let's do some unboxing. faucet. I know I could spray paint this, but it is broken. I probably could fix it, but like the knobs don't work right and this like leaks around the top. So for under 30 bucks, thank you Amazon. Plus it just looks like it's easier to clean. Oh my gosh, I don't know why, but like, ugh, trying to clean in there is always so annoying to me. And I love getting a drink from under the sink, so it's like a little faucet when you brush your teeth. So I have put out <laughs> safeguards precautions just in case this doesn't go well um I turn the water off let's go time for an intermission so a few things went wrong today <laughs> number one I decided to work out this morning and I did a lot of push-ups so then when I was under the sink trying to loosen up the old faucet and pipelines and connectors. My arms were shaking because they were so tired. So that wasn't great. So I finally got off the old one and I go to put on the new one and the center hole was too small. I remembered though from the light fixture, uh, the dining room light fixture, I had that little piece that you screw into your drill that can make holes. Perfect size. Thank you, God. That was such a blessing. I didn't have to go anywhere. So I drilled my little hole down, made it just a little bit bigger into the sink. Got my new faucet in there. Get it all screwed in tight, ready to go. I'm hooking up the last water supply line. Oh, yep. That cord is two inches too short. Going on Amazon. Thankfully, they had it. A longer size for $13. But I have to wait till Friday. So that's okay, though. Here are my little vinyl stick on floor tiles, but um, they're sold out everywhere. I can't believe I even got this box. But I don't like it in here. I don't, I don't. Because it's too busy. And it's really white compared to even the bathtub, the walls, and the cloth. Like when that's not in here, everything's like calm and nice, but then it's like Wah. Now that everything else is so pretty and simple, this tile is just so easy to take care of and it's like the whole hallway too. So, I might rock the tile. Here is my wall so far with the cheap paint sticks that are not gonna work from Amazon. So I'm gonna see um, if I can find more from the, like the Sherwin-Williams ones because those are nice. But you get the idea. I really like it, especially like when you're looking in the bathroom. That's gonna look super cool. Oh, that is a large fly. <laughs> For this size wall, I needed 220 paint sticks. And you can see I'm starting to get a little bit off. Everything's shifting to the right. So in hindsight, I would have done that differently. <laughs> to hang the paint sticks, this, and then um, a tiny little piece. That's all you need. And I put it right in the middle of whatever piece I'm working on because then I can like wiggle it around a little bit. We're together again, guys. <laughs> In the same room. I know. Hold your breath. <laughs> Finally. So, Amy did an amazing job on this bathroom, you guys. I I love it. Every time I walk in, especially this vanity, you can't see it right now, but you'll see like the after of everything. The color is just <sighs> makes you feel good. It does. It's uh, what did I say? I posted it earlier, but something yeah. sage, gray sage or sage gray or something. I might steal it from my master bathroom. It's really pretty. and you can get from Home Depot the little five dollar samples, and it was plenty for vanity. So nice. I do recommend actually 
sanding, lightly sanding your vanity first mm -hmm. and also doing a primer because uh, I didn't and there's like a couple spots where it's chipping already but still sometimes you just have to get something done or you'll never get it done at all yes <laughs> and that conflicts in my mind with if you're gonna do something do it right but I come in the middle somewhere in there is where I land all right so shall we do the tour of the bathroom now yeah okay <laughs> okay <laughs> here is our final walkthrough of the finished product of Amy's bathroom you guys, this wall costed you, what, zero dollars, right? Yes. Yeah. It did. I guess a dozen cookies and some cinnamon rolls is what it costed you. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to get anybody in trouble, though, but a very nice paint store yes. supplied these to me. So. Incredible people. Uh, this, actually, I'm going to switch to something called Devil's Ivy, which apparently doesn't need sun or very little of it, sunlight. So we'll see if I can get that to grow in the bathroom and then it'll kind of vine down. Where did you get this? I've never noticed this. First. Oh, that was part of my Amazon unboxing. Okay. Oh, Along with this little flusher, my old flusher was cracked and broken. That was actually like an oil rub bronze, but I just spray painted it black matte really it is quickly. Great. Carissa okay. picked out the rug, which I love. Yeah. I think it was Magnolia, wasn't it, from Target? Yes. But it's kind of, I don't know that it's going to live very long because yeah, it's yeah. just, well, you know. Yeah. It's not like. Tightly. We were trying to find it. something bigger, but I'm so glad we didn't because it just kind of the door doesn't shut and open with the rug here. Mm -hmm. um, and then this shower curtain is really cute too. My favorite thing when my husband walked in, he goes, <laughs> "Well, that's very Jewish," <laughs> and I was like, "What?" At first, but he's been to Israel oh, several like... times, and so the Jewish rabbis, it kind of looks like their cloak, I uh -huh. guess. So it makes me like it even more, actually. I just think that's funny that you said that. I love it. So here, and then this mirror. Oh my gosh, I'm in love oh, with this. Oh yeah, I never really explained the mirror because I hurt my foot. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> so here's the mirror. I tipped it, instead of framing it in flat like everybody does, mm -hmm. I tipped it sideways, which gives it that kind of shadow box effect. I love it. And it is so, you don't have to commit to this because it is only screwed into the wall there and there. It's not even attached to the mirror. Oh, okay, because you don't have so to you can take it. It's not glued. Awesome. You can take it off if you don't like it. Whatever. And I'm lucky awesome. too. It is resting. I mean, I'd probably put it in the stun except for it gets to rest on this little lip here. So it's supported. And then I got the new kitchen faucet. Finally got it in. These yes. cute little things also on Amazon for that. And then these little hand towels. We're from Target as well. Oh, and this light. Oh, that yeah, yeah. is, can you see it? Nope. Oh! <laughs> that was kind of cool. Well, it was from Amazon and it was only $40. It's really so cool. So for a bathroom vanity light, that is super frugal. And the poles on her thing, I love oh, these. Yes. If you guys can see, this is funny to me. Like the doors, she shaved these off here. Anyway. Shh, no one can tell that. <laughs> okay. No one can tell. So these are like Unless the you're <laughs> actually like going to the bathroom and just like sitting here like, wait a it's minute. It's entertainment, it's fine. Yeah. So these are your traditional poles, but then I love the little ones for the drawers. Those Good call. So that was cute. all Carissa's idea. I like those. Go with the little knobbies. So um, we'll try to link everything in the description. Um, I'll try to find it all on Amazon and then put the links in there. Yeah. So most of it's from Amazon, a couple things from Target, right? Yes. So yeah. Yep. So next up, now that I have this half of the house done, my bathroom is next, but I have been put on a spending freeze until we have income coming in, which makes sense. Yes. So we're just hunkering down. Hashtag thanks Corona. Yeah. <laughs> Making it work for a while, living off the savings account. So yeah, it's all good. But hope you guys are all doing great. Yes. Um, staying healthy. Yeah, staying same home or not home, not anymore. home anymore. Get out. Get some yeah. vitamin D. I don't know. Just be safe. Please hit like or subscribe. We like the thumbs up. Thanks, guys. Bye. I'll see you next time.